Hey, so I just wanted to show you this fun new tool that I got from gimmeclips.com. Um, it's their iRock tool, and it actually is a heat setting tool that uh, comes with a little case of bling, basically, that you can bling out anything. Um, it comes with a flower so that you can put these fun little, they have adhesive on the back and it melts it onto the flower and anyway you can actually embellish anything. This comes from a company called Imagine S and they're actually a scrapbooking company and so you can use these on cards, you can use it on clothes, you can pretty much do it on any surface. Uh, anyway, and earlier today I did this with my oldest daughter who's nine on a different flower that we made some a while back and she just had a really fun time. Her hands are still a little not so steady so I had to help her a little bit but she thought it was really cool to be able to add some bling to her hair accessories that she'd actually made and glued together for another event we had. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to use this and uh, what exactly it requires. Okay, so these uh, Gimme Glam kits actually can be bought um, at Target.com. If you just buy the iRock tool, uh, you can get it probably at every craft store out there. Um, but with the flower clip, if you want to do that specifically, I know Target.com sells them. They're about $14.99. Um, anyway, they come with this fun little Gimme Glam bottle full of different sized uh, bling some small ones and then some totally teeny tiny ones and it's like a lip gloss applicator actually and when you get this a little bit wet and you can pick them up with that to set them down where you want them but when I can ima I can see that this would work a lot better if you were doing it on a uh, card or on clothes or something but where I'm working with a flower that tends to move and the petals are a little bit fragile. I got my needle nose tweezers and I found that lot worked a lot better. With this you actually have a safety switch that you have to switch on and then you push this button and it lights it up for you and that's how you know it's working. The tip gets really hot and we found out the hard way as my daughter was slipped off that actually will melt stuff. Uh, the flower petal got kind of singed there. So this really does heat up well. So keep your fingers out of the way and if you've got little kids this isn't something that they would do. Anyway, you basically can put them anywhere and use any design. You want to have this on for a few seconds I found for the tip to heat up before you actually place these on here and have them adhere. But the back has adhesive on it and I found that if you hold them on for about three to four seconds that will heat it and adhere it to the flower. If you hold it much longer than that, the adhesive actually leaks out from underneath the bling and you can see it and it doesn't disappear. This flower is really fun because it comes with a really heavy duty claw clip that you can pretty much clip on anything. Your purse, your shirt, obviously in your hair, uh, on a headband, whatever you want to do. Um, I also, there was a few of the petals that weren't laying quite how I wanted, so I took teeny bits of hot glue and tacked them down so they laid how I wanted, so once I applied the bling, they were positioned where I needed them. One thing I found that if you're wanting to do a pattern like with every other petal, make sure that you've got an even number or do a little bit of math there so you don't end up with two smacked together if you were wanting to do every other petal. So, um, in this case, I know that I'm safe to do that. So I'll take my first little rhinestone here and position it where I want it. Like I said, I find the needle nose tweezers worked a lot better for this. Um, you can hold this a couple different ways, but you're going to want to push it so the light comes on for a few seconds before you put it on here so you make sure the tip is hot. And then I'd go one, two, three four and you can kind of tell if it's on there or not and that doesn't seem to have done it quite because I don't think I held it or had the tip hot enough to begin with and so I'll hold it on there for just a few more seconds and sorry my camera's not going to focus good for me here but there it's stuck on there 
So then you just continue on around. I'll do another one here and then I'll come back after I've made a bit of progress on it.